And right now, controversy over where sex offenders can live in Inglewood. The city's current restrictions effectively ban convicted sex offenders from living there, but Denver 7's Jacqueline Allen found Inglewood is now looking at relaxing the law. Jacqueline? That's right, people packed into this public hearing that just wrapped up tonight here in the last half an hour. Right now, Inglewood has some of the most restrictive sex offender residency policies in the state. The question though tonight is, did they go too far or not too or not far enough? That having the support around someone is extremely critical. Brian Brockhausen takes care of his elderly parents and his disabled brother in the Inglewood home where he grew up. But last year he got a letter saying he has to leave because he's a convicted sex offender. So Inglewood uprooting people and removing them away from their, their active support is stupid. His lawsuit prompted the city to re-examine its decade-old restrictions and propose a change. Instead of prohibiting sex offenders from living within 2,000 feet of schools, parks, and playgrounds, it would be 1,000 feet, increasing the area open from 1% of the city to about 20%. The point is we probably should look at some fairness to it while yet maintaining the, the distancing between schools. Some community members spoke in support of keeping distance restrictions in tonight's public hearing. The parents of children in schools, uh, think about the ones who walk to the rec center swimming pool. Think about the daycare providers. Some research has shown these policies can drive offenders underground and actually make communities less safe. For Brian, even the new distances would force him to move, and he says they just don't make sense. Actually, no, I would still be within the thousand foot uh, magic bubble, I call it. Uh, it's magic, it does nothing. <laughs> uh, it's a pure illusion. And most people tonight spoke in favor of completely repealing those distance restrictions. Brian says if they're not repealed, he'll take his lawsuit to trial. The council will vote on this March 6th. Reporting live, Jacqueline Allen, Denver 7. Thank you.